Before I go on to explain a little bit more about Honor Buddy's leveling capabilities, I'd like to remind you guys that if you haven't purchased Honor Buddy yet, or you want links to profiles and the official Honor Buddy forums, you can find them on our website, mmobot.info. Thanks for watching. This section of the official Honor Buddy website features a wide variety of different questing profiles, farming profiles, or faction specific grinding and questing profiles. Honor Buddy is an incredibly powerful piece of software that allows you to customize your botting experience. Whether you want to reach level 90 with grinding or questing, or farm up your professions and your reputation factions, it's really all up to you. The bot can do anything. Once you create your first character in World of Warcraft, it's an incredibly simple process to reach new heights and get to the levels and rewards that you've wanted incredibly quickly. Honor Buddy saves you hundreds of hours that you would otherwise pour into World of Warcraft that you can use elsewhere, like accomplishing real-life tasks or focusing on other stuff in-game that you wouldn't normally have time to do. When you fire up World of Warcraft and Honor Buddy together for the first time, you'll see exactly what I mean. Not only does Honor Buddy streamline the process of leveling in World of Warcraft, it just makes things a heck of a lot easier, in general. Now, I'm only going to give you a basic idea of what the Honor Buddy interface looks like and does in this video, but we have another video and section on the website which gives you a detailed explanation as to what Honor Buddy's UI does and what each menu means. For right now, all I'm going to talk about is the bot mode selector. We had it on BG Buddy, but we're obviously level 1, and so we can't do Battlegrounds and level that way, so we're going to just go ahead and open up the questing bot module. We're going to have to load a profile in order to get the questing bot to work. These profiles can be downloaded from Honor Buddy's official website or from clicking the links on mmobot.info. So let's go to the Alliance Questing section under 1 to 12, and we're leveling a human, so we're going to select the human 1 to 5 profile. And once you press start, the magic just happens. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'll just show you a little bit of what Honor Buddy is capable of. Let's start the questing profile by clicking Start. You can see status updates in Honor Buddy's main viewfinder, which is this window. And now it's compiling the Northshire Abbey quests, and now the bot is actually starting to move around the area and navigate through the game world in order to complete the Northshire quests. Now, Northshire is a fairly easy zone to do by yourself, but why would you actually want to do it yourself and mess with your mouse and type on your keyboard when you could just sit back, relax, get a drink, and watch Honor Buddy do the work for you? It's been a little bit under the minute, and the bot has already engaged itself in combat, completed the quest or two, and we're already level two, with just a few bars until we hit level three. And all I've been doing right now is just kicking back and watching the bot do all the hard work. It's incredibly satisfying to watch Honor Buddy work for you. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is that Honor Buddy has a lot of customization, but one of the more interesting elements of the customization is that class profiles can be changed. There are about a million different mage class profiles that you can download from Honor Buddy's forums, and these profiles are geared towards different sorts of playstyles. For example, some of them are better for questing and soloing instances, while others are better for PvP and content that involves competitive play against other players. These class profiles are coded by the same people who develop other profiles for Honor Buddy, and all they do is change the way that the bot plays your class. They don't change the way that you level. They just change the way that you do your rotation and use your spell abilities. Now, these class profiles can be customized themselves. You can change hey, when do, I want to, uh, when do I want to use my ice block, for example, if you're playing a mage? Like, should I use that at 20% or should I use that at 10%? I'm just going to show you a little example of what I mean here. This is the class configuration menu. Um, the, we are using the default mage profile at the moment, so the features here are pretty basic. Just some uh, general class stuff here that applies to all the classes. Class-specific group healing. The mage doesn't have a lot of customization options except for time warp or should I summon a table if I'm in a party with other players or should I use my armor buffs. Another element of Honor Buddy that you'll need to know a little bit about before you start leveling efficiently is plugins. Now plugins are 
essentially optional. There are questing profile packages which require you to download certain plugins in order for them to work well, but for the most part we just enable the basic ones and that seems to work pretty well for us. Auto Equip tends to be one of the most commonly used Honor Buddy plugins. It's packaged def by default with the Honor Buddy download. Auto Equip just basically says, hey, if the character gets new items and Honor Buddy detects that these items are appropriate for their class and spec, that it will automatically equip those items instead of forcing you to do it yourself. Yeah. Looks like everybody's, or looks like the game is lagging a little bit. That's no problem, though. But uh, auto equip is very commonly used. We're not going to use it right now because we're just demonstrating what the questing profile does. Uh, leader plugin. I'm not exactly sure what that does. That seems to be newer with the uh, latest version. Quest helper item for Aura is a required plugin for the profiles we're using, so we should have that checked. Uh, it's just basically a supplemental plugin to help the character access items that Honor Buddy would normally not detect during certain quests where the character has, has to pick up items on the ground or something like that. Uh, Talented 2 is the second version of Talented, which came out with the original Honor Buddy years ago, which just, it takes a, it takes a talent setup that you choose. You can go on Wowhead and on the talent calculator and make it you know, and make a talent list, or you can go on the World of Warcraft official website, then take that link and paste it into Talented, and Talented will copy that talent spec and spec you automatically as the character level, so you can make use of your most powerful class talents in order to level efficiently. Now, you'll probably wonder about what kind of account penalty you'll get if you end up getting caught using Honor Buddy. And the answer to that is, you probably won't get any penalty at all. And that's because the majority of Honor Buddy's users have never been banned for botting. The only people that get banned are the people who use Honor Buddy idiotically. If you, you know, have your character playing for 48 hours straight, then Blizzard is going to be a little bit suspicious of you, and they'll look into your account activities and say, hey, this, this person can't possibly be a human. They've been playing for 48 hours straight and consistently making a massive amount of XP and gold per hour. But generally, as long as you don't do idiotic things with the bot, you'll be just fine. Now, Blizzard does have software installed in all their games that automatically detects cheats and bots. However, Honor Buddy is coded by very professional developers that know what they're doing, and they've created a Warden Tripper software, and Warden is Blizzard's cheat detection software. They've created Tripper software for Honor Buddy that prevents Honor Buddy from being detected by Warden and shuts the program down if Warden does a scan in that sector of the memory. What this means for you is an incredibly safe and efficient botting experience. You can get your characters to whatever level you want, unlock all the items you've never been able to get because you can't put a time investment into the game, and you can do it all while you're just resting and watching the game or doing other stuff around the house. Now, I have to caution you. As I said before, don't use Honor Buddy for ridiculous amounts of times. Take a break between your bonding sessions. It'll look more realistic, and you won't be putting your account at risk. Now, you'll notice that the bot has smoothly transitioned onto the next questing zone, turning in quests and Stormwind to get our character experience. Back in the olden days, when we had primitive World of Warcraft bots like Glider, you had to manually swap the profiles yourself if you leveled up to the max level of that profile. For example, if you hit level 5, when you had a human 1-5 to profile like the one we're playing right now, you would have to manually switch to the human 6-12 to profile and load the profile in yourself. This meant that you could never leave the bot alone for too long, because it would essentially get to the end of the profile and not be able to do anything. But now, Honor Buddy allows you to just load up the first profile in the series, and the bot smoothly levels from 1 to 90, 1 to 85, or 1 to 80, or whatever level your profile goes up to. Due to Honor Buddy's easy setup and ease of use, comprehensive profiles, and advanced security features, we're going to go ahead and award the program with a 9.5 out of 10 for leveling and questing. For more reviews on Honor Buddy and other bots, visit us at mmobot.info and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.